Alright, hello, welcome to today's video. Um, today I'm going to be doing three looks, one palette, with the Blush Drab Paulina palette. I've seen quite a few videos on this already, and there's quite a few first impressions out on this, so I thought let's just dive in and do the whole shebang. I absolutely love Paulina's channel, she's absolutely an amazing creator, and it's so cool to see Blush Drab collab with a creator like her, and especially to create such a beautiful, colourful palette. I'm just gonna squeeze in right here. I realized I haven't done any swatches of this palette yet, so I'm just going to insert this here. And we're gonna do my favorite classic of face swatches. So this is the shade Friends. Sujet. Solely. Humble. Fingerling. Angel. Selma, Paulina, Aubergine. There you go. Back to our regular scheduled view. So, I really only, this is my first time using it as well, so it is the first impressions as well, but you know. So I'm just going to put some of the Hourglass Veil setting powder underneath my eyes. I'm just not sure if we're going to get a lot of fallout today, so I thought I'd be prepared. And let's prime the eyes. And today I'm going to use a bit of an old staple and that's the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. All the things that are already on my face or going on my face will be listed below. Alright, and let's dive in. I'm really excited to try this palette out and see how we go. Um, I used to have a little bit of pink underneath my eye from my look yesterday. So I thought today let's just do a nice all pink look. I'll probably do a green look and then I'll finish up with a green pink look. So I have sort of been enjoying the idea of doing the um, starting with a starting with the triangle here and then building the look from there. So I'm going to go in with Aubergine, which is this purple matte, on my Morphe R41. And then I'm just bringing that, sort of winging it out, but sort of bringing it up as like my just above my crease and that's going to help me later figure out where I want to blend everything. And just packing a little bit of that purple in. Sorry, I'm looking at my mirror over there. I need a closer one anyway. So let's bring it in a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of patchiness, but it's really building and blending on itself quite easily. That is bomb diggity. So I'm just going to wipe this brush off because it's kind of the perfect size for what I want to do today. And I'm going to come into Paulina, which is this beautiful color down here. And I'm going to bring this through here. And just bringing it like into my crease. And just cleaning that off again. I'm now going to go into the color Angel, which is a bit more of a like lighter pink than this. And I'm going to use this to hopefully bring these two together. And just blend that purple out up here. From looking at them, I think I'm really going to go in with Salma. This shade down here, and just put that on my lid. And using Thingling. I really want to play with the greens. No, I use Thingling on the inner corner for this look, and we'll mix it up later on. Uh, so going on my Jessup Cream Shader 233. And I don't feel like it needs a spritz, but I think I'm just going to spritz because I feel like it. This is MAC Fix Plus. Yeah, I'm filming. Are you filming? Yeah. Clean this brush off again. This Morphe Alpha one is pulling through today. I'm going to thingling. I'm just putting that in the inner corner. And sort of blending that up. Wow, and I believe we hit no fallout. I'm sure. So let's wipe this powder off and do under the eyes. 
All right, and I'm just going to bring that purple aubergine underneath my eye and sort of bring it back around. I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics brush in 103. And then just where that brush I was using before failed a bit, packing this in a bit better like that. And blending it up. Alright, and then to just brighten up that underneath my eye a little bit, I'm going to go in with Colourpop in Punch. Alright, and I'm just going to quickly do liner and mascara, come back and show you the final look. Alright, and I'm back. I've just put the Fenty Fly Liner on. Um, I just sort of used it as tight lining above, but I messed up this side. And the Lancome Hypnose Indolize Mascara plus a spritz with the Urban Decay D Slick Spray. So let's bring you in. So, so far so good. I do um, these colours performed beautifully. On to look number two. Hello, welcome to look number two. It's still the same day as look number one. I just really felt like doing my eyeshadow again. So all the same products as before, except I've got the Sugar Pill Liquid Lip and Cubby on, and I've already laid down my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. The pink left some staining behind, but didn't look too bad. I've had a few drinks, uh, so I'm gonna hope this comes out alright. But this is the look I wanted to really focus in on the greens. So I'm gonna pull Sige, Sige. And yeah, I've still got some of that yellow liner on from before. And this is my Jessup Brush 226 Smudger. Let's go in with this colour pop brush and I'm going to pull into Humble. And I'm just going to bring this here and I'm going to dry and do a halo effect eye. So I'm going to use Humble and connect that up here. I was kind of curious about the colour difference. I accidentally dipped into a uh, sigu, sige, sigu. Oh, I've heard it. Sigu. And this one. It hasn't made too much of a difference. This brush is sticking to my little bit more. So I'm gonna go with a cleaning, a blendy brush, and just blend this out. Alright, and then using the same brush, I'm going to go into Friends, which is this beautiful sort of neon green shade. And I'm going to use it up here just to blend the tops. Alright, and then I feel like I'm just going to put Friends down here. I don't really know why. I just really like it as a green. I want it everywhere. And then I picked up the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in Fair Zero Zero, which is their white shade the other day. Because I was curious. I was curious how this one would go as like a cut crease one. Alright, now I'm just going to dab these lads with my... Well, let's just dab the whole thing. I'm just going to dab it out with my fingers so it blends in. It's kind of even, not really though. I'm sorry if that makes you mad. And then I'm gonna go in with Soli in the upper corner. I am really sorry if there are outside noises as well. Um, Marceline's hanging out by the window. I'll put a picture that's just above my makeup station. And I didn't wanna take it, I didn't wanna take that away from her. I hope you understand. Who can say no to pets? 
All right, so sorry, my card just my SD card just got full. I was aware of that, but I was just putting solely in the center of my eye, and then going in with my detail shader from Jessup and Thingling. This purple. I'm gonna pat out the sides. Using my finger, I'm just going to dab that to sort of blend in a bit better. Oh, and then I don't really have anything. I'm just going to sort of try and bring like a line there. I think that was worse. So I've put those on and now I'm just going to go in with this brush that has friends on it. And just sort of blend out the top. Then going back to that original 1 by 226 I'm going to go into Humble. And bring this under. Now, humble and sigay. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I can hear it correctly in my brain, but I don't feel like I can get it out correctly. Does that make sense? So, humble and sigay are similar colors, but there is they're slightly different. Uh, like light and dark, so it makes them really easy to use together and to be able to build and blend in your shades. I want to go in with Soli, which is our green that's already on our lid. And just bring this gently into here. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna put Soli to cancel out that green I did put there earlier. But I did have fun putting it there. All right, and then back to this brush and just blending this out. Just so we don't have any harsh edges. Beautiful. I feel like I really... Oh no. I realized I forgot to put earrings on while my <laughs> hair was up. Alright, so I really want to go like a real green look. So I'm going to Teaspoon from Colourpop in my waterline. Alright, and I'm gonna just whack on some mascara, some liner, maybe some lashes. And I'll be right back. Alright, I couldn't be bothered having the argument with <laughs> false lashes, but I did chuck on my NYX Vivid Brights in Vivid Violet and the benefit their real mascara. So let's bring you in for a little look, see? This is like my best wing that I did, and this one is a sad wing. And I'm kinda, I like this look. I'd love to hear what your favorite look ends up being. So, thanks for watching, uh, on to look number three. Hello and welcome back to look number three. Um, today I'm going to try and recreate Paulina's first look that I think I saw her do with this palette that made me want to buy it and it is the Neon Fruit Pool look. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a poor job but you know, we'll give it a whirl. So I've got my soft ochre already put down as my base and let's go in. I did watch the video but I don't feel like going back and watching it again and that may be my undoing but Either way, essentially I'm doing pink in the crease and green, that vibrant, beautiful green all over my lid. I can't wait. So, I guess it will be my interpretation of said look. So let's pull out the big guns so that I'm extra fancy. I'm going to go on my Chukahodo. This is my GSN 10 brush. And I'm going to go into Angel, this beautiful pink here. Using the same brush because I'm just going to use it to build on up going into Paulina. All 
right, we're just going to cut the crease with a little bit of my Colourpop No Filter in Exit, which is their white shade. All right, that's kind of even. Let's go into friends. I can't wait. I'm so pure excited. I love, I just, I'm obsessed with the shade, to be completely honest. Oh, look at that beautiful green. Let's hope it lives up to the expectation. What do you think? Let me just have a look at that picture again. So she brought the green down. But it's just, it's a lot more muted in real life than it is in the picture. I'm going to go quickly check in with the video and be back. Alright, I went and had a look. Um, yeah. This is the same shade that she used, but it looks a lot more vibrant in hers. Anyway, she did actually use aubergine in her crease and the outer corner so let's fix that up now and I'm just gonna add that see what happens I'm hoping that the contrast between these will pick up better. It's kind of working. And then I'm just using like a really stiff stifling brush. Is that what this is called? A really stiff brush. And this is just to place it on and then I'll blend it out with something else. Um, that's just because I'm trying to be uh, very... I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to be very neat. Right, so I'm going to go back in with that original brush and put some of Angel back on it. I just need a little bit more aubergine to go in this corner here. Alright, and then let's go back into Friends with that original brush and just try and build it up. Alright, and then using a bit more of a precise brush, I'm going to bring it around into the inner corner like she did. And now, sorry, I'm the worst at saying what my brushes are. Is that something that you like to hear? I use such a wide variety of brushes, it's hard for me sometimes. Uh, like this is back to my Jessup brushes now. So I'd love to know if that's something that you like to hear about. Alright, and then she put Salma, which is this shimmer shade down here. And just using this brush, uh, this is BH Cosmetics 105, and going into Thingaling, which is that center shade right here. All right, so that's um, I'm just getting off camera, chuck on some uh, waterline and mascara, and I'll be back. All right, so I've just chucked the Urban Decay liner on in Freak, which is this beautiful green, and Nas Climax as my mascara. Let's bring you in and see what I came up with. Alright, so, sorry, I'm just looking in the monitor because I want to see how this green is pulling. It looks quite a bit more neon in the middle. It's nice. And definitely, I think it probably, it, it just looks a little bit more muted in real life. Alright, so at the moment you're looking at what this would look like in potentially daylight. 5000 on the Kelvin scale, which is direct sunlight, but I actually can't stand to look at this very much um, in the monitor because it, it kind of hurts my eyes. I thought this is giving a pretty fair reputation and that green is popping now. Yeah, so even for me in this lighting, this green looks a lot better. So I'm so sorry my lighting was so crap for that whole time. Um, and unfortunately I've decided to film this at night so I can't even go check in the daytime because I would do that right now if I could. Um, it still just in general does look a little bit more muted than I expected but 
I'm super happy with this. I can't, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Please don't think I'm complaining, but, um, hello, I'm sorry, I can't see. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like, um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these looks. Let me know if you managed to pick up the Paulina palette. What, um, what are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it. I adore you.